public relations war to restore credibility in the banking system here is really at full swing this morning as we wait for the stress test. Now, to discuss those uh, and the state of the Spanish economy, I'm joined now by Guillermo de la Dehesa. He's the chair of the Center of Economic Policy Research. Sir, very good morning. Thanks for joining good us morning. here on The it's Pulse. Let's get down to business. What do you expect? There's a lot of speculation. What do you expect to come from these stress tests this evening here for the Spanish? Well, I think that uh, there will be a few uh, banks or saving banks that uh, might not make it. Right. The tier one, six uh, percent. But then they will be recapitalized by the FROB, the fund that has been uh, put forward to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, the IMF did a stress test a few months ago, showing that it would need, in total, 22 billion, the whole system, and I think that uh, the FROB has disbursed already 11 billion plus 4 billion of uh, guarantees, and in all might be between 20 and 22 billion. And if that's the level, sir, do you think that we will, that Spain will have done enough to give credibility back to the banking system to gain access, substantial access, to capital markets from which they've been closed out? I hope so, because uh, this means that if, if Spain has put 22 billion for the whole banking system, it's 10 times less than other European countries. So it's because the Spanish uh, system was healthier than the others. Okay, Let, let's broaden it out now. Let's talk about the impending austerity measures for yes. the Spanish economy. How realistic is it to reduce expenditure by almost 50% in the space of a year? How real and how possible is that to achieve for the government here? Well, it's very tough, I must say, but uh, it's what the markets were asking for and the Commission also... But what is the reality, sir? Will they be able to deliver that? I think so. You think so? Yes, and uh, that will have a negative shock uh, for the second part of 2010 and, and 2011, but hopefully this shock might be tempered by the very rapid increase in Spanish exports that is now uh, running at double digits. Okay, so we think about exports, trying to actually get this economy to grow, essentially, uh, it, it was driven by leverage on a property basis. Yes. What can be really done in real terms to grow the Spanish economy, if not by a property boom again? How else do they do it? Well, uh, we have other sectors that are very internationally oriented and that they slowly will pick up what has been left by the shock to the real estate and the construction sector. But what I see is that uh, the competitiveness of the Spanish exports with a depreciated euro is, uh, is very strong and uh, running at 14% at the moment, the exports, even uh, at the same rate as the Germany. So this would be, in my opinion, the way that the slowly will be recovered. I've got to but, ask you, would you concur with Mr. Trichet's comments that the whole of Europe needs very strong austerity measures, a very change, and briefly, sir? Uh, I don't think so. Not all. I mean, Germany doesn't need uh, such an austerity measures. Of course, they have imposed some, but I think that uh, in a very light way. But... Uh, We'll wait, we've got to wait and see. So I've yes. got to leave it there. Yes. Andrea, that's the state of play from here in Madrid. We get the results 6.30 Central European time and full disclosure tomorrow morning.